One of the challenges of backpacking is understanding how to get your weight down on your pack. I'm not necessarily talking about base weight, but just overall weight. How much stress are you putting on your body? So today we're gonna talk about five things that you can do to lower your pack weight, and you might actually save some money doing it. So without further ado, let's get to item number one. <laughs> The first place where a beginner backpacker needs to learn to shed weight is right here, and that's with your clothing. Bringing too much clothing out on the trail can really add up the weight fast. By just adding a couple extra pairs of socks and uh, maybe a pair of underwear too, and an extra shirt and an extra pair of uh, pants that you wanna wear at night, you can add three to four pounds in an instant, and it really can mess up your pack weight. Like I said, you could save up to three to four pounds just by not bringing two extra pairs of socks, an extra pair of underwear, and a t-shirt. Clothing is not light, and so understanding how to bring only what you need can be vital when you're on trail. Item number two is don't bring too much food when you're out on trail. And this is one that beginner backpackers and advanced backpackers all struggle with. There are very few backpackers that really know how to dial in their food. Uh, a lot of guys will tell you, a lot of ladies will tell you, when you get off the trail, you always seem to have a food bag that still has about a third of the food left in it. And the biggest culprit of this is snacks. It seems like a lot of people overestimate how many snacks they're actually gonna eat on trail. I know when I first got started, I thought I would constantly be eating as I was hiking, and I realized really quick, when I'm hiking, I don't think about eating. And so I would bring all this extra food that I would never, ever eat. And at the end of the trail, I would realize that I added an extra pound or two to my pack weight with just food that I never ate. So a great way to help lower that pack weight is to not bring that extra food and really bring what you need. Another great way to lower your pack weight is to get dried or powdered versions of some of the stuff that you're actually bringing with you on trail. Now, like most of you, for a long time, I brought a tube of toothpaste similar to this when I was on trail. Well, now I don't bring that at all. I bring something like this. This is a powdered toothpaste. All you need to do is stick your toothbrush down into the powder. The powder will attach to those bristles, you pull that out, start brushing, your saliva activates the toothpaste and you're good to go. Now it only saves an ounce or two, but it does save an ounce or two and as you go along, those ounces can mean something. Another item that you could bring that is already pre-dried out are compressed towels. Uh, these are by Wissy Wipes. All you have to do is add just a couple drops of water. These things come out and you have a wet wipe ready to use. It's a whole lot lighter than bringing one of these packs of wet wipes or even pulling some out of that, putting them in a Ziploc bag and bringing them. Because they're already pre-moistened, they are going to weigh more. Bringing something like this will lighten your weight a little bit. There are also powdered shampoos, powdered soaps, uh, things that you can bring out on the trail to use so that you don't have to have that added weight of the moisture that's in those items. A little bonus item that can kind of go along with this stuff is you could bring something like this. This is the Kulo Clean Bidet. By bringing a bidet, you can, one, eliminate waste. Uh, two, it's just cleaner. Uh, than using toilet paper. And uh, it can also save you a little bit of weight from bringing a huge thing of toilet paper with you when you're on trail. So when you get out there, bring some powdered items, bring some dried items, uh, eliminate toilet paper waste, bring a, bring a backcountry bidet. Uh, these are some things that can really help lower that pack weight. If you appreciate this list so far and you like that bonus tip, why don't you subscribe to the channel? All you have to do is hit that red button right now and get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell so you find out anytime one of these videos are dropped. Now for a lot of us, when we get started backpacking, when we think about hydration, uh, we get something like this or maybe something like this, or we go out to our local sporting goods store and we get ourselves one of these Nalgene bottles like this one right here. I'm gonna tell you, for one, these things are expensive. These bladders aren't cheap. Uh, Nalgene bottles are like 15 bucks. What if I told you, you could spend like $2.50, get yourself a bottle like this and just keep reusing it so that you're saving money and you're saving weight. Tip number four is ditch the bladders, ditch the Nalgene bottles and get yourself 
some cheap gas station water bottles. Now I understand the convenience of a water bladder. I really do. Uh, you've got that nozzle that comes out, makes it easy to drink. But one, it is a lot heavier than one of these plastic bottles. And two, you can't see how much water you've got left. I can't tell you on how many trips that I've gone hiking when I had my bladder, I'd get to a certain point and realize I don't have any water left and there's no water sources between where I am and where I'm going. When you're not able to visually see how much water is left, a lot of times we just kind of ignore it. Now you can do that with a Nalgene bottle, but the truth is Nalgene bottles are definitely heavy. Carrying bottles like this allows you two things. One, you're gonna cut down weight. Two, you're gonna cut down on finances. These things are cheap. You're buying the water bottle anyways when you're at a gas station, so why not hang on to the bottle and use it over and over again? Now, a lot of people like the smart water bottles. You've got the life water bottles, and I'm a personal fan of the body armor bottles as well. If you get one of those cheap Dasani bottles, those bottles work as well, and they weigh a whole lot less. You can save some weight, and you can save some money just by going with those instead of buying the expensive bladder or the expensive Nalgene bottle. Another great way you can save a few ounces is by moving away from these and moving to these. These are alcohol stoves. One of the great things about alcohol stoves is the fact that they weigh less. Another thing that's great about them is you don't have to bring an entire canister of fuel for a simple overnight backpacking trip. For me, I have this nice little handy dandy bottle that I bring with me to uh, put my alcohol in when I'm using an alcohol stove. A lot of times if I'm just doing an overnight, I'm just gonna boil a couple cups of water. I'm really not gonna be doing a lot of cooking. The alcohol stove is awesome because it really is a lot lighter. You only need to bring however much you need to fill up just for that trip. When you're bringing a canister, you've gotta bring whatever is in that canister. It's already a metal encased canister to begin with, but then you throw on top of that the fluid that's inside, the isobutane, and you've got a little bit of added weight. Getting yourself an alcohol stove and learning how to use it and, and being able to control the amount of fluid you're bringing can really save you a few ounces on the trail. And with these tips, you should be able to save anywhere from three to five or even six pounds off of your pack weight. Two to four pounds could be clothing alone. Uh, one or two pounds could be your food and then adding the ounces that you're losing from these other items and you could really be doing your back a favor and it will thank you. And I thank you for watching the video. If you've got any comments about things that you guys do to save pack weight, leave those below. And until next time, stay strong, hike long, and I'll catch you on the next go around.